last night kicked off the new season of The Bachelor. And this year, I know, uh, audience, I'm sorry. I, Ted makes me do this. And this year, it's Zach. Zach, who's looking for love. One of the women vying for his heart is Madison from Fargo. Look. Very excited for you to potentially meet my people, which happen to reside in Fargo, North Dakota. You have to be prepared for the winter. Oh, <laughs> oh he is so great. Wait, wow. Ed, that actually looks so good on you. No, I... It's getting a little toasty, I bet. For you? A little bit, yeah. Okay. I'm cooking. I just want to be in his arms and, like, cuddling. So good talking to you. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, Madison. Sounds great. I think the attraction between us initially was electric, if there's one word to describe it. And I want to kiss Zach. Better now that I'm sitting next to you again. She gets to talk to him twice. Yeah, yes. so she talked to him twice already. So Madison stole him again. I was like, what the f Honestly, it's like, I mean, I know, go after what you want, but at the same time, like, don't be that girl. Don't be that girl. I think Madison is that girl. What does Bachelor Nation think of their new leading man? We have lots of questions, don't we, after night one? And that means it's time once again for 37% of America loves Ted. Joining us from Bachelor headquarters is Ted Johnson. Hello, Hello. Ted. Hello. Um, she's going to be the girl, isn't she? She's gonna be the yeah. she's gonna be the one that we just watch because it's like a train wreck. It was, and, and you know these nights they 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 just go on and on and on and they get more alcohol in them and probably less food and you could just see this just slowly flying off a cliff. Yeah, I could see it even in that clip. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start off with the bachelor himself, uh, Zach. What do you think of him, Ted? You know, I'm. I think if you took all the bachelors from the last 30 years and you put them into a machine and you said, give me the average of all these bachelors, <laughs> it would look like that guy. Yeah. Yeah, you put him on like a Vitamix. Yeah. I mean, he, he, I don't think you could pick him out of a lineup. It's like, you know, they, and what are they doing there? Are they what kissing? was that? I don't know. Ted, what were they? Were they kissing? Is this the gay bachelor? What is this? <laughs> That's a special twist. Uh, so he was apparently, allegedly, on last season of The Bachelorette. I think he made top four, top five, and I guess they said, wow, this guy could make The Bachelor. So uh, that's what we're left with. Uh, uh, online yesterday, people were calling him boring, lame, dull, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to say. Um, so yeah, we're, we're stuck with this guy for, for a while. I have another term for him. Anyway, one of the women is the daughter of a famous singer, I hear. Jeff will love this. Uh, you remember what Jeff's uh, first concert was? Uh, executive producer Jeff's first concert was country music legend Barbara Mandrell. <laughs> and one of the women vying for Zach's heart is Barbara Mandrell's daughter, Christina Mandrell. I thought it was the, her niece, Ted. Well, maybe she's her niece. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's got the... She, She's got the same last name. That's they're in the they're in the it's a it's, she's got she's in the gene pool. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Thank you for at least getting us in the ballpark on that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who got the first impression, Rose? So some here. Here's the thing. When you when you hand out the first impression, Rose, just go with the hottest girl. That's it. Just do that. He goes with some girl named Greer, and I. She's come on, it's the bachelor. She's average. <laughs> Ted, uh, send all emails to Ted Johnson. <laughs> hey, he's just guys, he's speaking his truth. You want unfiltered? Yeah, yeah. and this is the bachelor. I don't, this... I, I don't hold back. No, uh, so uh, what are your overall first impressions? I, you know, I was very impressed because, you know, I, there were a couple of years there where it would be, we would range from 21 years old to 23 years old, and the 23-year-old would be like the elder stateswoman of, of, the, of the group. Well, now we're into the third, you know, we've got like low 20s up to like low mid 30s. 
So I think, I feel like they're at least giving us some age variety. Yeah. Which as an elder statesman myself, I appreciate. Yes. We have just a little bit of time. You brought us a sound bite. What do we have here, Ted? So, what are we looking at? So we are going to go back to our friend Madison from North Dakota. Okay. You're probably wondering, gee, did she get a rose? Well, as uh, Jesse and our bachelor Zach were discussing, she made one last pitch. Take a look. How scary are the mites on the wrong person? Out? A lot. Hello. Can I disrupt you guys for a little bit? Absolutely. Take yeah, all the time you need. Absolutely. I'll see you soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? It is so good to see you. So good to see you too. I wanted to disrupt your conversation. Yeah. Um, I don't want to force things and I want things to come natural and yeah. whatever this either A might become or B could have been. Um, I just want to make sure that you want me on this journey. Um, yeah. I really do thank you for being here, and I, I really appreciate getting to know you, but, you know, like as I, I said, I, I never want to lie, and I always want to be open and truthful, but, you know, I, my heart wasn't feeling it. Yeah. I never want to force that, and I don't want to put you through something that's not real. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> and and did you notice as she came out, Jesse was like, "Oh, sure, yep, yeah, get right in here." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that is horrendous. That was hard to watch. Yeah, it was tough to watch, and um, so we will not be seeing Madison again. Maybe we, we will. Maybe she'll come back. Maybe they'll convince her to come back. Give it another shot. Well, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the average looking Ted Johnson. There we go. <laughs> I had to stick up for the I had to say that. I got to give it back to. to Ted. Yep, had to do it. Calling someone average. OK, but we got to just really quick, though. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean. What? You, that woman, she made me uncomfortable. Oh, I thought you thought The Bachelor was maybe gay. Well, that too. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's but no, the woman this. was, I, oh, that makes me uncomfortable. She oh, you think? She was all up in his face. She was like, yeah, no, I've met plenty of those yeah. ladies. No, he's a good looking guy. I can't wait for Ted's review and for me not to watch it.